and welcome. For dinner today, I have a Taste the Difference by Sainsbury's, Wiltshire ham gratin, so that includes potatoes, cheese sauce. I've got some veggies, some onion rings, and some sour cream, of course. I am starving Marvin, so let's tuck in. You might hear people talking because I have old sash windows and there's people in the gardens at the moment and my household is a bit noisy this evening. So I actually wanted lasagna uh, but they subbed me for this uh, ham gratin so I would never normally buy it but I feel it's going to be nice so fingers crossed. Mm, I love onion rings. Cheers. Heaven, actually heaven. Wow, they're almost, they almost taste fried. Great crunch, these were oven baked. Mmm. Could eat a whole plate of those. Oh. Wonderful. Right, let's try a bit of this ham next. As I was saying about the noise. How's everyone been? What are you having for dinner? Have you ever had ham gratin before? Hmm, it's a quality ham. Mmm, very meaty, very thick. Let's try with a bit of potato. And cream and cheese sauce. Mmm. The peas and carrots have got a herby butter type thing going on. Mm, so they're, they're going to be good and they are nice. Salt and peppered. There's like a crumb on top of this potato here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. I might get it again if I fancy something different, but I definitely would have preferred the lasagna. Hmm, the ham is good, you know. sauce hmm potatoes mm-hmm Yummy. Do you know, I bought a cottage pie the other day from M&S and it had on the label itself, comforting, right? I think that's what drew me. So. And it was called cottage pie with a uh, vegetable, what was the name they chose? With a vegetable, not a crust, was it a vegetable crust? I'm going to have to look up and show you. Anyway, it was bloody awful, I had four bites, I couldn't eat it. 
I almost made my um, cottage pie. That's it. It was um, vegetable crush. But yeah, cottage pie with a vegetable crush. Bloody awful. I could taste the Worcestershire sauce, which I love, but it was too potent and it was just all wrong. Let's not remember that dish anymore. Ended up having McDonald's. You'll notice in the background there's Christmas bags there. I haven't been shopping, that's down from the loft. Christmas decks. We've done the haul. When my kids were young, I think on at least two occasions they managed to persuade me to put the tree up in September and October. Now they're all in their 20s and they choose November. Well, it makes them feel good, you know. Christmas is my favourite time of the year. Just because the whole family's together. It just feels so hopeful, you know. We don't know what we're doing this year. I'm excited for Christmas and I'm not. And it's too early. Maybe I'll feel more like it. I mean, obviously it always comes, so. There's a whole lot of ham in here, you know. Hmm. Quite a filling meal as well. Hmm. I think I might get it again, you know. Anyone else got the decorations up yet? To do it early. I don't mind the decorations being up early. Obviously, the longer you're in the Christmas spirit, the better, you know. So there's a plus to that. Hmm. 
I'm in a very somber mood considering we put decorations up today. Demolishing these veg with cheese, aren't I? The veggies go cold so quick, though, you know. Nice quality ham, nice thick piece. Meat and potatoes. Whatever that crumb is on top of the potatoes, it's very nice. Probably a bit of bread breadcrumb, huh? I can taste like um, a different type of cheese as well. Hmm. I wanted to share with you a really, really funny video. <clears throat> some might find it funny, some might not. It depends how you feel about base human behaviour. So if your sensibilities are going to be offended by base behaviour, it's probably best you don't watch this clip. I was watching one of those videos, um, excuse me, <clears throat> try not to laugh this business was in a uh, meeting zoom meeting how many numbers no, about eight people i think anyway the guy who hosted the meeting said goodbye to everyone like and uh, you could see he turned his camera off but because he was the host it didn't turn off anyway yeah i think you should watch it it's so so funny just hilarious shall i play it or shall i just link it well i'll tell you what's so funny about it apart from base behavior you've got to laugh about it right humans it's ugly but it's funny as well it's natural so um but everybody had a different reaction to this behavior i watched it so that i could focus on each and every one of their responses to that behavior and every one of them made me laugh the whole thing is hilarious in my opinion so yeah but anyway so I'll, this might give you a laugh it's given me a laugh uh just think about it right now so i'm less somber than before but anyway so have a little look the slide three from the video no, sent you this can morning. i actually this hop on this call since I'm not on this account. No problem. Okay, cool. Go ahead, Sean. Sure. Let's just start off with January 2020. Now, consumer spending is up. Uh, I'm sorry, if you look Sean. at the graph right below. What page are we on? I'm sorry, we're on page 12, the second graph from the top. Okay. Danielle, turn your camera off. All right. So if you look, uh, we're a 0.15% higher than 2019. Uh, we started this quarter off at 2.75%. Holy shit. Uh, Daniel, God. I don't think he's Daniel. Daniel. Oh, Daniel. 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 Dani
Oh, how, how do we turn this oh, heat off? Wow. We can't. Oh, hell no. Daniel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Daniel is a host. We, holy shit. <laughs> how bad is that? Oh, okay, not bad. How bad as in how funny is that? Bloody brilliant. Priceless. That kind of thing is priceless. Their reactions from the laughter to the hell no. And a dead quiet, as, you know, and just focusing closer and closer to see, am I seeing what I'm seeing? And then you've got one guy who's backing away in fear of seeing something he doesn't want to see. Oh. Little things, please, little minds. Yeah, I loved it. So you had one who didn't know what to do. She was the one that was telling Daniel to turn off his camera. Then you got the lady in the middle, and just chilling with a mug of coffee, sitting right back, real laid back. And then she just gets in closer and sips her tea or whatever she's drinking, while she's watching this engrossing film, pun intended. And then you got the guy just too shocked to do anything but cover his mouth. Got the wife, the guy backing away in fear. You got the other lady who's like absolutely hell no. And then you've got the other <laughs> You got another guy up the top there. In panic mode trying to contact him by phone. Oh my god, and then you got that lady at the bottom who just ran away in terror. I can only describe it as terror. She ran away so quickly. Hand over her mouth. But everybody's reaction so funny and every reaction was different. My favourite reaction was obviously the guy bottom right who was laughing as hard as I was laughing. people I've talked to about it with have said like you know why would you do that straight after well why wouldn't it it's like a de-stressor isn't it for a lot of people you know for all we know that meeting could have been uh, stressful <laughs> Could have been a de stressor. All right, could have just been his crush was there in the meeting. Whatever his reasons. but no thanks see how I've saved the crumbly bit the best bit about a real good close up of the top bread crumbs turned all weird all that time. Onion rings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's not crispy.
Mm. They're stone cold, but delicious. What kind of videos do you like to watch apart from mukbangs? <clears throat> I imagine it's varied, right? Because mine's varied. I watch everything. Apart from sport. No joy from sport. In theory or otherwise. Hmm. I'm going to dry it without that now. A double onion in there. Mm hmm. Very satisfying. And surprisingly nice. And I've got no complaints about that considering I didn't choose the milk. Dessert. Got to finish off with the chocolate today. Have you had this? It's called a Twix top. They're not as good as the Twix, but they are nice and lighter than the Twix. Excuse me. Too much biscuit. Don't twix now, I want more chocolate and more caramel. Not more biscuit. Well, that was a really satisfying, lovely dinner. And also, an okay dessert. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the look of the food. If you live in the UK and you haven't tried the uh, Wiltshire ham then definitely give that a go. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, welcome. Thank you for all the likes everybody's been giving my videos which I, I really do appreciate it. It um, tells me I'm doing all right. So thanks again and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.